Hi there. I don't know how, how many of you guys uh, think the same way I do, but our world, uh, the structure of uh, on, on where our society have been built have changed. Uh, lately, uh, we, we, might seem, we might seem that the world is coming down on us, on top of us. Our government, our financials, everything is uh, changing. So even, even though uh, it, changed, uh, it has changed, it has changed for good, uh, technology and creativity have given us uh, tools uh, to do so. How many of you remember how to, uh, how to use an encyclopedia? I hope all of you. <laughs> but uh, we already have uh, two generations that they don't. They don't know how to use an encyclopedia. They don't know how to wait for a photo to be developed. Okay? Uh, we live in a, in a world right now. We all are interconnected. We're interconnected to, to ourselves, to the world, to information. We live in a, in a world right now of uh, everything has to be uh, fast and quick. But we are, all are creative people, even though if we, if we don't know it. And Puerto Rico has been, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a, a cuna in Spain. <laughs> in Spanglish, uh, for talent and creative people. Uh, and that have been known for many years now. All of us, uh, at one point, will have a, an excellent idea, a great idea that we want to communicate to the world. We have, we have had at least one of these ideas that we know that we show to the right people uh, or we have the opportunity to show it to the world or to the right people, they will come, doesn't matter how, and doesn't matter uh, how fast, uh, how, how, how difficult it is the, 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 the travel, if we have a great idea, we, we know we can show. But still, uh, we, even though the world has changed, we have new uh, technology, we are interconnected. The entrepreneurs, today's entrepreneurs, we challenge the same problems over and over. Most of the time, we've been thinking, or we've been asked, do you have the money to make it happen, that big idea of yours? And, and most of the time, it's, uh, it's in a funny way as well. Show me the money. How can we make it happen, okay? And, and that's one of the biggest dilemmas entrepreneurs have today. How to find uh, money to do so. Even though it looks like we're living on a, on a world right now where it lacks of collaboration, it lacks of opportunities, and it lacks of uh, capital or access to financial, there's still a lot of people wanting to help, wanting to give you a hand to achieve your goals out there so we can uh, manage uh, to get there. And why these people? Because most of them, we're connected. We have many things in common. Ideas, dreams, desires, uh, knowledge. So we just, we just have to make it happen by collaborating one to another. Or be recreative in the way of doing it, okay? Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And that's how the crowdfunding came along. Crowdfunding, it's a collaboration between a group of people that economically helps and support causes, projects, or idea, ideas, and businesses. Okay? In Arroa Bichuela, Es un serrucho para ayudar un pana. Okay? This is our Puerto Rican slang for uh, crowdfunding. Most of, most of the time we use it for parties, where all, all people come and bring something to the party so we can share. Okay? Crowdfunding platforms are designed to help entrepreneurs 
uh, reach, uh, reach the world. And Puerto Rico, we already have one of those platforms here. Uh, that uh, for you guys to know the amplitude of what uh, crowdfunding is in the world right now, uh, it ended uh, $1.5 billion in transactions in the 2011, $2.7 billion in transaction for 2012, and it's expected to close this next, uh, 2013 with $5.2 billion in transactions only around the world. There's four different kinds of crowdfunding platforms. One of the donation base, which is uh, another way of uh, philanthropy, where you give money uh, just because you care about the co a cost or something, okay? You don't, you don't ask something uh, uh, back for the money you give. The uh, reward base, on the other hand, you have to give and receive. You give money and the, the, the people that have the project, they give you something back. It cannot be money, it can be uh, a, an experience, a, a service, or a product. Uh, in, you give me money, $5 up, five, I give you a thank you note in Facebook uh, or Twitter, I get 20 bucks, I give you uh, a copy of, of the CD or download of the music I was uh, trying to raise money for, uh, or, or the movie I was uh, trying to, to do. Uh, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, you go to my house and have a dinner with my family, or go to my, or go to my, uh, uh, let's say offices or, or workshop to see how I, how, how is, I do the things. Or if you give me $10,000, I tattoo your name wherever you want, okay? You can be as creative as you want in and, and the reward base, okay? And if you give me $20,000, I'll do it myself, okay? <laughs> Land, uh, Lending-based platforms are uh, microloans, okay? Uh, on, it wasn't until uh, past month that they became legal in the States. Uh, but around the world, there have been many uh, cases uh, of uh, lending-based platforms. As, e as uh, equal to the equity-based crowdfunding. And those two were, as I said, I illegal uh, in the States uh, until a month ago. Now, the Sec uh, Security Exchange Commission have uh, banned uh, the, a law that uh, they're uh, allowing crowdfunding platforms to give lending-based uh, lendings and equity-based. So that means that publicly, you can go and ask for money for your company. Mm -hmm. uh, the growth of those platforms uh, from the uh, 2009 up to, up to 2012, donation base have grown 50%, reward base have grown 300%, lending base 70, uh, 75%, and equity base another 300%. Uh, uh, do, uh, the 27 million small businesses around the US, they're uh, probably, they fail, explode, disappear, or uh, implode in their, in their first five years. This, two, uh, this is a number on, uh, that the Harvard Review, uh, Business uh, Review magazine says last July. That's why working capital financial financing is one of the key requirements of all small startups. Today, banks take notorious long to approve minimal amounts of credit. If that pain can be addressed via crowdfunding, that would massively lubricate small businesses, unleashing tremendous amounts of growth. This is happening all over the world. Crowdfunding have changed the way we ask for money. In our culture, Asking for money, it's not well seen. It's a, let's say, a, we call it a mendigar. So we have been raised not to ask for help or money. So uh, by that, 
We all been quiet of our uh, necessities. We have kept our uh, questions or ideas because we don't want to mendigar around for money. Uh, the only two other ways was put yourself to it or as uh, traditional ways of banking or financial for your ideas. But crowdfunding have opened our arms uh, to actually ask for it and welcome it. Okay? So we are starting to collaborate more and more and more. Crowdfunding platforms are like a, like a display for ideas and projects where uh, we have different kinds of categories, including arts, technology, science, uh, publishing, uh, design, and, and mu music, movies, films. You can actually do anything you want unless, unless it's uh, illegal stuff. But uh, you can, uh, on, on these platforms, you can uh, search by category or just look around all, uh, all categories as well as you want. Where each project uh, tells its own story in a homepage where through a video you can explain people what's your idea about, what your project wants to offer to the world, what you need, who you are, what's your experience, who's your team, and what you expect, and, and why you want to uh, get your project to the next level. So in that way, uh, it's, let's say it's a, a viability plan instead of a business plan. Okay? So you have to talk to people directly, and people will understand what you're saying, will engage with your project, as much as become, becoming part of a community, because all, the, all of these platforms and each, uh, in all of these projects uh, are supported, are story supported by crowds. And, and this is a great example of how, how can you manage uh, uh, all information the people are willing to give you for free. Instead of going to do a focal uh, group that it costs you a lot, through the platforms, actually you can put your, you put, put your perspective and your project out there, and the people will comment on it, will uh, comment positively or destroy it. Either way, you win. Why? Because if, if they're destroying it, that's a keynote for you to say, maybe I have to redesign what I want to do. Maybe my idea is not good enough, but as I thought. Maybe, maybe I have a, a, a I can, I can uh, captivate all those, all those feedbacks and put it back into uh, the project and make it successful then. And we can do it again. Or ask uh, people, are you, do you like my project? Are you willing to be part of it? So uh, all these all this, uh, uh, people are willing to give you all the information. Puerto Rico, in only six months, have uh, 14... Uh, 1,450 users, 70, 783 backers, 1,060 backs, plus uh, 50,000 plus visits, 11 success projects already, and more than $70,000 in uh, transactions. Crowdfunding is helping people achieve their goals in a different way, in an alternative way. It's money that you don't have to give back. You have to endorse someone, give them part of your project, part of a, a product, a service, or experience. Many, many of the projects have been uh, successful through uh, Anvagat. It's uh, there have been a project that has to be with uh, causes, films, uh, education, so the, the variety of, of projects are limitless. But all of them have something in, in, in common. Most of them that are successful, they have a great idea or an idea that's innova innovative or that uh, people can uh, embrace it. 
uh, a good network. Uh, crowdfunding is not free money. You have to work it. You have to work for it daily, an hour, two hours, by emails. You're spamming everywhere. <laughs> so uh, you become a spammer. Maybe people will hate you for it. But uh, that's a way to give, uh, take your money from your network. How many people goes? If you go viral, there's people that have raised $10 million in 45 days okay, uh, in the States. Uh, and the other one is the how creative are your rewards? Remember about the tattoo? Maybe that could work. And all that combined have been the key elements for success stories. So one of the questions are, if now asking for money is not uh, an obstacle, what are you guys are waiting for? Let's make makers, entrepreneurs, not more employees. Thank you very much.